In this video, we're going to be sharing with you a really, really effective route concept for the current meta that we're facing in Madden 23, the cover zero blitz, really just any man coverage and zone coverage. This is a great route combination this year, partially also because of how quickly it's going to get open against uh, the blitz as well. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the sub button. If you want to get my entire Trips Tied In offensive ebook, make sure that you join our Patreon page. It's only 10 bucks to sign up, and it gets you access to all of my Madden 23 offense and defensive ebooks as well as all the updates to those ebooks and we're dropping a brand new offensive ebook uh, tomorrow for our patreon members which will make our 11th ebook of the Madden 23 season now the play we're going to be taking a look at today is the play pa slot corner out of the trips tied in i think this is the most versatile play in Madden 23 because you have a corner route a post route and a deep corner you're tied in now, how we're going to set this play up is relatively simple in terms of how we're going to um, attack the current meta. We're going to uh, drag our tight end. We're going to streak Chris Godwin. And then from here, you have kind of some, some choices. I really like to put a C route to the outside receiver over here on the left side. And then if you want to wheel your running back, uh, you certainly can. But you're going to see here that we're basically going to create kind of a, a read between the drag and this little post route. Now this post route is one of the better man beating routes in the entire game. It's really good against man. It's really good against zone. And you really can't defend it in man or zone, honestly. You're going to have to kind of use it because we put the streak here to clear out any zones. The next thing that we have, though, is let's say that they do use her this route. Then you should have this uh, C route to Mike Evans over the top. Now it's a little bit of a poor pass lead, uh, but you'll see right here, like if it's man to man, um, you should be able to throw this ball, uh, let me see if I can get it here, to Mike Evans, okay? So we know C routes this year, really, really effective. Um, if you have the short out elite ability on that player, it's going to light up and um, he will get over the top of this. Obviously, Mike Evans doesn't have the short out elite ability, which is part of the problem. Another thing is if you have, I believe it's over 90 route running, um, it's going to significantly help the likelihood that that's going to get open. The other route that you have, though, is this route to the tight end, and this route to the tight end is really effective. The reason I really like this route to the tight end is because they're going to have to basically come back to guard the post, and this tight end route gets open so quick underneath that it's really, really helpful. There you see there's the C route uh, to Mike Evans able to cook. And again, the, the C route to Mike Evans, honestly, is a little bit better in mutt than it is in regs uh, just because of the route running thresholds um, you know but then you also like i said have that that drag and then you have this post coming in behind it and this post really is hard to use her you kind of have to use it from start to finish within the within the play so that is kind of the the man to man uh concept with this but i wanted to get into some zone coverage so zone coverage here what you're going to notice is this is one of the better zone beaters um, that we have because you're going to essentially have a high low in the middle of the field where the user is going to be. So you can hit this drag. You see how the, the vertical routes, we technically have three vertical routes on the side, uh, on the trips tied in on the trip side. And so because of that, you should be able to hit this drag literally all day long, like right in that little window right there you should be able to hit that route. So what this is gonna cause your opponent to have to do is he's gonna to have to shade underneath or he's going to have to go user that that route, which should then open up that route right in that little pocket as we have that clear out streak and we have the under route from the tight end. Now, if you wanted to, another thing that you could do with this play is you could streak your tight end and maybe motion Goblin over on an in route and you could do something like this. This will maybe get you a little bit better of a man beater from there. You still kind of have the same basic concept. However, you don't have a streak on the side of the C route. Now, in zone, it's not always the case. Um, specific zones, this route to Evans is going to get open with a pass lead outside. As you see right here, that was cover three. The, the streak should give you some windows to be able to throw the ball to 
uh, Mike Evans on this C route. So what you'll see here, this is cover four, pass lead outside. You might have to click on an agate, uh, but there is a little bit of window. Now the best play um, or the best defense that this actually works against is cover two. It's actually really effective against cover two. So what you'll see here is you're just gonna pass lead or high ball that to the sideline and he should be able to get over the top of any cloud flat. There's a lot of people that really like to run um, some semblance of cover two, uh, especially to shut down you know, some of the quick underneath things that we have in our arsenal. So we have something like this where we can get that into a real sweet spot against the cover two coverage. So if they're running cover two, we've got a really nice beater on the left side. And then if they're running cover three or cover four, it really depends on how well the streak does at pulling the zone backs. Like right here, you see not too good. So it's definitely kind of a read. Um, but essentially, they're going to have to probably, you know, outside third over there, which is going to cause them a slew of other issues, right? They're going to have to do something, you know, if they're, let's say they're, they're in man, this is kind of becoming a popular adjustment right now from a lot of comp players. They're going to do something like this. If they do something like that, um, what it's going to happen is now my streak is one on one over the middle. So if we get a, you know, a press beat like that right there, we can free form over the top and potentially be a cover one coverage. So now they're in a situation where they have to shade their coverage over top. They have to kind of do some things to prevent, you know, the potential that they're going to get burned uh, over the top of the defense. You know, so this this kind of gives us a lot of value um, because, again, they're going to have to do that, maybe do something like that. Uh, but now they have to shade over top. And when they have to shade over top, then your underneath routes, such as your post and your drag, should be significantly more... Uh, open as you see right there really nice route so that is a really really good play for beating man and for beating zone coverage obviously if they blitz you you have a six band pass protection if you don't want to run the play action play you can just block the running back if you don't have outside apprentice um, real quick just going to give a kind of a modified uh, setup if you don't have outside apprentice what I like to do is go ahead and leave this corner route to Godwin and then we're just going to streak the tight end now and we're going to motion over Mike Evans on a quick in route or something like this. This right here is really good because you still get that underneath concept with the post but now you also get the access to that corner route and that corner route can be a really really good man beater as well so you could even honestly do something like this like you can drag the tight end still as that's one of the better man beaters in the game and then you're just going to have this clear out route to mike evans and then as you see here i've got this little scissors action where now i have a corner on the left side that can be very effective against man um, another variation of this could be if you wanted to do something like, you know, I think this is a little bit of a s oversimplification, but something like this is really not bad. Um, you know, getting the running back involved a little bit. Now you've got a fade on the outside. You can kind of freestyle out of this play, but anyways, this is kind of a concept for beating man to man. Thanks for watching the video, and uh, if you want to get my full trips tied in offensive ebook. Make sure that you join our Patreon. The link to sign up for that is in the description. $10 will get you access to all of my Man 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of the updates to those ebooks uh, to help you guys become better Madden players in Madden 23.